This video describes the procedure to model a 3D part of angle block as shown here in SOLIDWORKS. To model it, we begin making the outer contour for the shape as, sh as shown in the front view, extrude it over by 2.18 and then we add the other features like the chamfer coming in here at 45 degree. Uh, as seen from the top, this is giving us the true shape and true size that is sketched over uh, in the top and then cut through all across the height. There's a slot behind, so we also generate this in the top uh, any uh, top face or a plane from the top top view or top plane, and then cut this through from the back end. We have got a countersink hole here, represented by 0.62 as the drill diameter, and the countersink diameter here as 1.25. Uh, you have the symbol of V, this is indicative of uh, countersink hole and its included angle is 90 degree. We'll use always art for making this feature. Let us now look at this in SOLIDWORKS. We will use SOLIDWORKS 2020 as the version to make the 3D part for the angle block. We start with a new file from the standard toolbar. Select the part file as the file type. The unit system uh, to be considered is inches. So we change it from the bottom right corner of the screen to inch system. Selecting the front plane, making it a sketch plane, and then using a line command to sketch the profile for the auto contour. and assign the dimensions That's a now fully defined sketch, extruding this over depth of 2.18. Can reverse the direction. We have got the first uh, base feature. Let's trim this portion out. So we can make use of uh, the top face to sketch. There's an edge here, which is uh, at 45. To the horizontal we can make it as a complete uh, triangle as uh, we may we can add uh, another sketch over here on the top in the same sketch plane of a rectangle and extrude cut both of these simultaneously Okay, that's a now a fully defined sketch. Let's click on extrude cut to completely cut through all to generate this uh, uh, two features that we have on it. Last one would be to add the countersink hole from the top face for which we make use of hole wizard and then uh, select the hole type as countersink and the property manager here change the standard to inch. We have got uh, show custom sizing, Turn, uh, check the box for it and assign the dimension as 0.62 for the drill diameter and for the countersink diameter as 1.25 and we have got the angle for the countersink as 90 degree. The end condition is through all and uh, uncheck any boxes if you have them checked here. Click on the positions tab, select the top face and then drop the center on this face. Before we proceed uh, to execute this command, go normal to it and assign a dimension to fully define the uh, center position for this. This is 1.09 and it is uh, having a distance of 1 from the left end. And that's uh, now a fully defined sketch. Accept this. 
to have the hole drilled in there. So this is uh, how we make a 3D part for uh, the angle block that was shown in here. You can have a section view over here uh, to move this plane. You have three standard planes here, front, top and the right. This is more uh, appropriate to view this in uh, the front sectional view. So you can drag this arrow inside to go to the center position of that contrasting hole and then look at it in section. To get back to the uh, previous view you can release the icon here section view to get the 3d part as a display uh, for uh, as a display style for the angle block so this completes the video on making of 3d part of uh, of angle block in solidworks